Hi everybody, Cynthia here. Um, I sent in, a, I think it was a coffee video, coffee talk video, that I'd be back to share my latest Disney paper bag albums that I made and with you. And I'm currently working on two accordion minis that I'll share with you when those are complete. Um, but the paper pad that I used is from Say Cheese 4 from Simple Stories. So I used some papers from this and cut apart. And then I also used a few sheets from the Say Cheese 2 collection from Simple Stories. And I purchased both of these um, paper pads from Hobby Lobby. And I'll share the little mini with you first. I got my white paper bags from Hobby Lobby and they're nice and sturdy. I used um, some tool ribbon and some of this sparkly fun fur as the binding and then I made this really cute um, I'll try and get a close up for you this really cute dangle charm that I have some white and red gingham ribbon I have an M charm for Mickey and then I made these three beaded charms black yellow and red with rondelles and white pearls so that's hanging from the binding and then I have some stars and two of them I glittered up with glitter glue and then I have a little ticket I cut out it says admit one I have this cute little Mickey and he's popped up on foam dots for dimension and then I have a sticker down here that says it all started with a mouse and I have a little Brad there so the paper bags all have these three large pockets and they also have pullouts that I used a Mickey punch that I have in my stash to create the pull tabs on both sides so there's a double sided photo mat there and then the first page I have a photo mat here it says memories created a corner pocket and have a little Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck sticker there and I tucked in two more mats for photos or journaling it says smiles from ear to ear on this one and full of wonder on this one here and this has cute little fireworks I love the paper designs from these simple stories collections they're so so cute Okay, I'm trying to put these both in at the same time. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Pardon me. I forgot to tell you guys, when I folded my paper bags, the album itself measures about, it looks like four and a quarter, maybe a little over four and a quarter by four and a half. And then the next page here, I made some Mickey glove hands on my Cricut. And then I have two photo mats here, and the photo will slide. Oh, here's my cardstock. I place these on so your photo will slide right behind the little thumbs there. And then I, there's another photo mat here, and the little flip tab has a Mickey sticker on it, Mickey head sticker. And then this just flips up for two more photos. And then there's another one of those large paper bag pockets with a double sided photo mat and another one of the Mickey heads for the pool tabs. And then two large photo mats here. This one says friends on this side and then there's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse on this side. And then this page here, it says remember the magic two photo mats, another large photo mat here, and I just made this embellishment here from some heart and star punches, and then I placed this sticker on some cardstock of Donald Duck and cut him out, 
and then I just kind of layered them in a cluster there and the photo will slide right behind and then there's one more of those large paper bag pockets with the double-sided photo mat in there and you could also tuck in you know a bunch of extra photos or whatever you might have and then the last two pages here there's a large area for a photo it says happy place and then here I created a bottom pocket with a space for journaling and then there's little stickers of Goofy Head, Donald Duck Head, Daisy Duck, and Minnie Mouse and then I tucked in three more double-sided photo mats in this back pocket here. Okay, and then this is what the back of it looks like. So that's my smaller paper bag album, and then I have this larger paper bag album right here. It says Mickey on the front, which I popped up on, I fussy cut it out. It was a sticker that I put on white cardstock, and then I cut it all out, popped it up on foam dots for dimension. Actually, everything on the front cover here is popped up, except the little arrow that I put on this side. Oh, sorry, I'm off the camera here, on this side. And then I just did some star clusters, and then created this little embellishment here, best day ever. And then there's Mickey on the front. And I did the same thing. I used the tool ribbon for binding my album. And then I made another cute beaded dangle charm with the red and white gingham. And just different colored beads and rondelles hanging off of the binding here. This one also has three large side pockets. And it measures approximately five and a half by six inches tall. Another large pocket with a really large double-sided photo mat and I use my Mickey heads for pull tabs here. And then this has the same basic style. Large area for a photo. Cut this out of the ephemera says we are here and then I created this cute little cluster again from my heart punches and my stars this was a little scallop um, circle that I did and then I used some of this black enamel to create dots actually I think it's called let me look for it yeah it's the dimensional enamel accent inks from Ranger. I ran out of the black and only have the white left. Um, and then I used my circle punch. I stamped out the sentiment cool and then I used my circle punch to cut that out. But it's just a little embellishment cluster and then there's a corner pocket and then I tucked in these cute double-sided photo mats. I don't I love the Polaroid cameras. I'm kind of obsessed with those. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so cute, but I love the paper. I just really think it's adorable. Okay, and then the next page, two photo mats, and this is cute. It says, persons who don't meet height requirement may not ride, and there's a little Mickey there. And then on this side is um, a little ride that I cut out of from the paper, popped it up on foam dots large area for a photo here. I used my circle scallop again and a little Mickey sticker to create the little pull tab and then it opens up for two more photos and another large side pocket double sided photo mat and then two large areas for photo. It says family fun and then I created this embellishment from a star stamp. Use my circle punch to punch out the oh boy sentiment. And then I have this Polaroid, mini Polaroid stamp set that says smile. And then I just put a little Mickey sticker in the center there. And then two photo mats here. It says magic, large photo mat there. 
a Polaroid camera or just a camera from the the collection and then another one of those um, large side pockets with a double sided photo mat and then back here it's another large area for a photo it says believe and then I created this bottom pocket here and I just cut out some banner pieces from the scraps that I had left over and then I created this embellishment from fussy cutting out like the mini head um, bow and then I used a circle punch to punch that out from some paper and then this castle in the background I made on my Cricut and then I had the picture perfect stamp in my collection so I just put that little embellishment together and then there's two larger photo mats in the back pocket here and then that's the back with the firework paper so if you guys have any questions let me know these are available in my ebay i'll post that below as well thank you guys so much for watching take care and i will be back to share my latest um disney accordion albums in a little while so thanks for watching happy crafting